everyone so in today's video I am going to be doing a review and demo on three products if you guys would like to see how these three products apply please keep watching and we will get right into this review and demo of these under eye a very products. popular concealer and then these other two products seem very different and new not so much the powder but the under okay, eye okay so i have these two products the first one is the becca under eye primer so i also have the under eye setting powder so this is exclusively for the under eyes now at the moment my favorite under eye powder is the Kat Von D the Kat Von D Lock It Brightening Powder in Petal now I love this and it looks really smooth on the under eye area now this one is supposed to uh, be brightening so I don't know the other one doesn't say brightening so this is the anti-fatigue under eye primer okay, so so yeah this is the Becca anti-fatigue under eye primer so you're supposed to use this with that brightening under eye setting powder so that's what we're going to do today now this is supposed to prep the eyes and I guess make you look a lot more awake and I'm also hoping that it will really make my concealer last longer and prep it so I'm going to be using also this very hyped up product and this is the makeup revolution concealer and I've had this for a while now but I haven't gotten around to using it and I decided today was the day I would film this so this is a conceal and define full coverage conceal and contour so this is supposed to be full coverage at 0.11 ounces so yeah this is not even half the amount of what the shape tape has but this is supposed to be a shape tape dupe i did get mine in the shade light which is c4 and this is probably just going to be a little lighter than my foundation so we're just going to go in there and apply it like you know when you're doing your whole face of makeup and you're like contouring and highlighting and all that <gasps> okay so i'm like over here wiping away <laughs> the concealer that I applied because I forgot to put the under eye primer so we're going to do one side no primer one side primer so let's just hope that this will be fine the anti fatigue under eye primer which you kind of like have to rub like in circles for a while um just to kind of like help it melt into your finger like i don't know like the heat of your finger melts the product more um it feels very balmy no not now it kind of reminds me of a lip balm but not as soft um now when I look at my finger, I don't really see anything. Like, it has no color, no, like, anything. So, I'm just applying it to this area. So, I'm going to apply, um, 
more product, then I would probably apply normally because I just want to see what difference it makes. Now what I'm noticing when it's on the skin, that it looks a little luminous. I don't know if you guys can see. But yeah. So okay, so before this dries out, I'm going to blend it in and then we'll come back to this side. Okay, so the concealer is pretty much blended in. Now it does dry really quickly, so you do have to work a little quicker. However, I can still see some redness right here and discoloration. So I'm going to apply a second layer and hopefully it won't like cake up. Now, if you guys own the Tarte Shape Tape, you know that that concealer is a very full coverage. And it does not, like, you know, you do not need to build it up. And I'm going to bring it around my nose because it really didn't do anything right there. Right, so this time I'm going to go in with a concealer brush just to see if it makes a difference. And the coverage and everything. So let's just press it onto the skin. Press it in, press it in. Okay, so as you can see, that made a world of a difference. Like, that just gave it more full coverage. So, I wouldn't recommend um, going first with your brush. I, I say blend it in with a concealer brush first. And then if you feel like you need to melt the product into your skin a little bit more, then go over it with a sponge. So, that's what I'm going to do just right here. I'm going to go right here on, you know, we have fine lines. Now, it is kind of clinging right Again, here. Again, same concealer. I'm honestly expecting this uh, anti-fatigue primer to do something like miraculous where I'll be blown away but we'll see so on this side I'm going to go in with the sponge just to see if that primer actually helps to like make it look more full coverage and you know just grab on better and all of that Okay, that looks a lot brighter than this side, for sure, like, <laughs> like 10 times brighter. Wow, okay, so it definitely brightens up that under eye primer. Tap in whatever I have left on this side. I think it kind of evened it out with the leftover product on the under eye area or um, you know I didn't have any problem around my nose either so it like really just like got in there and stayed whereas on this side I had to work a little harder okay so I have to say this side looks really smooth compared to this side um, I feel like you can definitely see my fine lines right here, whereas this side, you could still see a little bit, but not as much. And now we're going to do, so now we're going to do the powder. Now, it comes with a little sifter, so you can 
lock it when um, you're done using it. But then there's so there's so much product on top that you really I don't know like it's a little bit pointless to add a sifter um, that twists this. So yeah, we're just you know it looks it just looks like a plain white very bright white powder now i don't know how much you're supposed to take with this and i really don't think this is meant for baking because it's so small but we'll see if it actually sets it really good so i'm just using the um pointy side I can see little flecks of shimmer, which is really weird. I see little flecks of shimmer on my cheeks. So both sides are pretty much set. Now, let me show you guys. On this side of my nose, you can see it like kind of crusting up, whereas this side looks really smooth. I don't know if it's, well, most likely it's a primer. Uh, and this side where I didn't prep, um, I can see a little bit of that concealer gathering up right there. Um, and I see more creases on this side than this side. So, I don't know, those little flecks of shimmer kind of worry me. I mean, I don't know if they're, like, supposed to be, like, you know, so that you look brighter and, you know, more awake or what but i'm afraid that they'll transfer on camera like when you take a picture that's what worries me and i don't usually like shimmer on the under eye area but we're going to give this a chance and see how it lasts but yeah um show you guys so it is currently 206 Six. Makeup Revolution. So this is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer, which is a concealer that's supposed to be a dupe for the very famous and popular Tarte Shape Tape. Now this is a drugstore price. Um, this is about... $8.99 I want to say and it has 0 0.11 ounces now the Tarte Shape Tape so the so the Tarte Shape Tape has 0 0.33 ounces so that is three times more product but this one is I want to say 30 I will correct myself if I'm wrong in the screen or somewhere but yeah this one is like eight or nine dollars but you get 0 0.11 ounces and just by looking at the tubes you can see the size difference so i am wearing it on both under eye areas now one side which is this side i am wearing an under eye primer the becca anti-fatigue under eye primer now this is like a blue little balm that you just rub your finger in um because i really can't see any other way of applying this so i guess you could say this is very like soft and silky it's not like balm like as in lip balm it's just like very soft and silky and it leaves the under eye area leaves your under eye area a lot more luminous. Now, I did apply a generous amount on the under eye area on this side. And then I was like, whoa, my under eye area looks really bright. So, um, at the end, when I was done with both eyes, I just went over it with my beauty sponge and kind of evened it out. Now, this side that did have the under eye primer did not, like... Uh, the, the concealer did not like crust up around here, around the nose area, 
whereas on this side it did so that is the only thing that I've noticed now I did have a little bit harder time um, making it look smooth on this side on the fine lines on the little fine lines underneath the eye on this side it was a little bit harder to blend in but um you know they're pretty much both like quick drying concealers that you have to work quicker with now is this one as full coverage as a shape tape? In my opinion, no. I did have to do two layers of this. Then the third product that I used in the video is also by Becca. The Translucent Under Eye Primer. Now this is supposed to be a brightening primer. Now, I had never used an under eye primer that has like shimmer particles in it now i'm guessing they do that to make it look brighter but i can actually see the little flecks of shimmer on the under eye area and even before i did my whole face of makeup it's it did do a pretty good job at setting both sides and it still looks pretty good and um, I feel like the Makeup Revolution concealer is a good concealer now it's not as good as a Tarte Shape Tape but it's a good drugstore concealer but yeah that is pretty much all that I have to say about these products and yeah, it is now 7.21, so I've had it for quite some hours. If I see any changes um, by the time that I remove my makeup, I will write it down in the description bar.